I'll let Ron take care of this. Hey, why don't you, why don't I what? <laughs> you reek of fear. Lance! <laughs> If life has taught me anything, it's that an unhinged D-list celebrity will bump the ratings like a good old-fashioned wardrobe malfunction. And tonight, we might even get both. <laughs> a few scenes from uh, Paper Champions. Brady Roberts uh, plays Matteo Mason, one of the co-creators. Kylie Bush plays Audrey. And Mr. Disco Duke himself, Paul Lazenby, <laughs> welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, man. We just had a small sampling of what Paper Champions is all yeah. about. Um, a slight hint of wrestling in your six episodes. There's, there's a little bit, yeah. Oh, man, just, yeah. A, just a bit, huh? Yeah, yeah. I worked uh, for, for more than 10 years uh, as a pro wrestler. So I, I created the show with a, an amazing writer, Matt Ewart. So I wrestled as Brady Malibu for 10 years all over the world. So you got Malibu in the morning, man. I'm taking over the show. You've got Disco Duke, and of and course, Duke. you have Audrey as well. It's a big day for you guys tomorrow because you're going to premiere the, the show. It's six episodes. Creating this, being a part of it, what has it been like for you? Because you, you filmed it in Calgary in October of last year. Mm -hmm, Give me your did. thoughts on, it, on the project. Oh, it was amazing. We actually, five of the main cast members, we all stayed in a house together, so we became a little tight-knit family, and it was just such a good experience. Everyone was so fun and funny all the time. And you have this guy who really, Paul really is a jack of all trades. I, I know you've done comedy in your life. You, you're an author. We've had you on many times. Hopefully we'll see another when we were bouncers three book coming out shortly. It's in the works. Uh, you've done a lot of star work, a lot of acting. This is right up your alley though. Absolutely. I, I jumped on the project right away. I actually gave up a couple of um, uh, other projects to make sure I was available for this because, uh, you know, I've known Brady for a while. We were both trained by Lance Storm, uh, myself way before Brady was. Uh, but uh, he brought that to me, and as soon as I flipped through the screenplay, I, I couldn't believe the quality of the writing, especially because they were given a very tight time deadline to turn it out. So I immediately thought, I gotta get involved in this. It's, it's close to my heart because it's wrestling related, but it, it is a straight up comedy. It's not a wrestling show, it's a comedy it's that's comedy, about yeah. wrestling. Um, I gave you a hard time in commercial break about it being filmed in Alberta. Nothing against our Alberta friends, but yeah. seems fitting that if you go to Alberta, you go to Calgary, because when you think of the wrestlers that came out of Calgary, yeah. of course you have Lance Storm there right now. Of course you have you know the Hart Foundation, Stu Hart. Was that part of the reason to go there? Is, is because some of the heritage? Yeah, it was really cool for me because when I was 18, I moved to Calgary to train to become a wrestler at Lance Storm's Wrestling Academy, and, and I know Paul has spent a lot of time there as well. So to go back uh, many years later and, and film a show there about wrestling was cool, and we got Lance Storm and his wrestling school involved in the show as well. So it, it was really the perfect place to, to shoot the show. I want to get your perspective uh, on being a part of a show where there's so much testosterone with such a strong <laughs> wrestling theme going through. But when you look at how wrestling has really evolved, we have the man tomorrow, uh, you know, Becky Lynch headlining, the three women headlining WrestleMania. Your side of, of it all, being on the show. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get to do a lot of wrestling myself, but working with a group of guys, <laughs> like, it's constant banter. It's constantly making fun of each other. And I don't know, it was, I wish that I could do more wrestling, maybe in, in season two, but it was a, yeah, all around great experience. Getting a project this off the ground, yeah. um, obviously a dream to create a show, yeah. uh, to have the, the talented actors, to have their writers. How much work goes into something like this? Because people oh. who come out to the Rio Theater tomorrow will, will see what the show is all about. But six episodes, I don't even know if I can wrap my head around the yeah. work that goes into a production like this. It, it was insane. And, and really, like, we only finished the show a couple days ago. So <laughs> really? it, it, we're talking, like, over a year, just 24-7 work, full-time job. Like, it, I mean, we had the, the perfect team of, of producers and uh, an amazing director, Theo Kim, and awesome cast, and, and the writers are so great. And, and it just was like a perfect storm coming together. Uh, and, and working with, with TELUS and everyone there has, has been awesome. So it's, yeah, it's, it's an insane amount of work. So I really hope that, that people come out and, and, and see what we, what we did tomorrow. I know you've been in the industry here for, for decades, but when you look at the productions that go on in our province, that go on in Alberta, you see TELUS that, that gives backing to people like you who mm -hmm. want to create something like this. There's a lot going on, Paul. Yeah, it, it was really refreshing for me because it, it kind of put a new coat of paint on uh, a, an industry I've been in for 19 years. 
uh, there are people who they kind of get into the routine of, of being in the film industry and you kind of forget how lucky you are to be in it. Mm -hmm. And then tell us giving this chance to a lot of people who it was their first chance of, of doing the jobs that they were doing on Paper Champions and also, you know, putting the ball in Brady's hands and Matt Ewart's hands and everybody's head, to, to make their passion project. There was so much enthusiasm on set. I have never had more fun on a show than I did on Paper Champions. Kyle, how was it? in terms of expanding your wings, doing something different like this and maybe some of your other roles that you've had? It was great. It was my first kind of shot at a, a comedy series. I've done a lot of, you know, dramatic roles, but it was just, it was, it was good. It was a lot of fun being comedic for a chance and lighter like that. I, I do have to point one thing out is that within about two hours, we realized Kylie's one of the guys and we're going to be able to have fun with this. Nice. You, you never nice. know when you're, when like you're, you're walking into uh, working with a new actor and uh, especially a female lead and a male, a male mainly male cast. She fit right in, and uh, we couldn't have found a better person for the lead. Yeah. Okay, Rio Theater tomorrow. Uh, people yep. can come. What time? It's at 12 o'clock, noon. There is very few tickets remaining, like 20 tickets remaining. So <laughs> They're free, right They're now, free right? on Eventbrite. They're free tickets. Eventbrite, check it out. Yep. It is uh, Paper Champions, six episodes. Brady Roberts, Kylie Bush, and Paul Aisby. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. Continue Thank success. You. Mm -hmm. I know it's an early morning for some of you uh, actors who are shooting all the time, so <laughs> really appreciate you guys, and best yeah. of luck tomorrow. And it will be over before Mania, so if you're a wrestling fan, you'll be home in yep. time for that. There you yep. go. Spoken from true wrestlers themselves. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for coming, everybody. It is uh, Paper Champions Tour at the Rio Theater. Noon time, still some tickets available. We are back after commercial break.